Shanda Fulbright, and I'm super excited to introduce you three lovely ladies who live in different parts of the world and some in parts of the country who have some amazing things to share with you. And so I really want you to get to know who they are and who I am. So that way you can know what we have to offer and how it can enhance your life. Um, today, I am going to be, make available my free downloads, which are all my free re resources on shandafulbright.com forward slash links. Um, they are five-day devotionals and three-day devotionals. Again, they're all completely free, and I love, love to make those available because I am an ordained minister with the Church of God. I didn't actually start reading my Bible till I was 30 years old, and I was raised in church, and I realize now the importance of getting it into God's Word and knowing it for yourself. So because of that, I like to make it available to all other women to equip them to know what God's Word says, because if we know the truth, we won't be deceived. And um, so now I'm going to introduce you to some of my friends who can explain to you what they have for you as well. And the first this one is going to be Kim. Okay, wait. Before Kim starts, I don't think we should let Shanda off the hook too easily. So Shanda, you do this thing that I love called Friday Confessions. And right now, I want you to confess to us what is your most embarrassing moment? Oh, man. Um, my most <laughs> embarrassing moment? Probably, probably... Oh gosh, maybe. Okay. So in the ninth grade, this is the worst. Okay. I hate even explaining this because it's really, it really is embarrassing even now. So my mom never taught me how to wear deodorant or shave like my legs. Okay. So the ninth grade, I hit puberty late and I didn't know that people started getting body odor. And when I would go to school around noon, I always started to smell. I I don't know what it was around 12 o'clock, I think because the sun was coming out and I really tried to hide it. I'd go to the bathroom, wash my armpits, go home that day, figure out like, okay, the next day I'm not going to smell like this. What do I got to do? And I go into my mom's room and spray hair, uh, not hairspray, perfume on my armpits because I didn't know I needed deodorant. And then the next day I go to, go to school and I thought that that would work. And in the afternoon, Lo and behold, noon would ro roll around lunchtime and I'd start to smell the funky smell. When you can smell yourself, you got problems, right? <laughs> so anyways, I, I don't even, I think I, I don't smell like that now, but I, of course I do wear deodorant, but that was putrid. <laughs> it was so strong. I think it's because my hormones were going crazy. I was 14 and um, people would smell it around me and I would pretend like it wasn't me. We all knew the truth, you know? So anyway, I'm scarred for life. And guess what's in my drawer? Lots of it, deodorant. It, I'm it. That's why I can't go on naked and afraid either, because you know they got to be smelling after like day four, right? And it's just one of the reasons I won't do it. But okay, so is that good, Cecily? Are you happy with that? <laughs> that, was good that was amazing. Thank you. Okay, okay. Yeah. Kim, I'm sorry. I should I should have asked this. Okay, so do you have a dog that you always post pictures of? And actually, sometimes your pictures on Instagram are only of your dog, like because you love him that much. Or is it a her? <laughs> it's a him, right? Him. him. Okay. Yes. So one, is this the first dog you've ever had? And two, how old is he, by the way? And how long? Like, what kind of a dog is he? So he's not the first dog I've ever had. I grew up having a dog in my family. I think I was three years old when we got him and I have an older brother and sister. So um, my poor mother had like a three-year-old, a five-year-old and a seven-year-old and a puppy. And she was home, she worked part-time. So she like dealt with us most of the time. I don't know how she didn't, how she didn't go crazy. Maybe she did and we didn't notice. But um, so I grew up with the dog and then our dog, his name is Brian, which everyone thinks he's named off the dog from Family Guy, which he is not. He is actually named off the dog from Sweet Home Alabama, and my husband picked it out, which everything, everybody thinks is funny because he named him from a dog from a chick flick. So really, my big burly husband is just a big softie. Um, right. <laughs> okay, okay, wait, wait. What's your most embarrassing moment with your dog? Oh, gosh. Let me think. Um, we have to do embarrassing moments here. I mean, someone's going to talk my stinky arm. <laughs> well, not too long ago, I took him to the park and he's almost five. So I took him to the park and it was a beautiful day and everyone was just kind of relaxing on their park benches. And I was walking him and he stopped right in front of this lady on a park bench. 
and dropped one right in front of her. But she was just trying to relax and enjoy her day. And I was just like, oh, I can't do anything about it. I can't stop them. So I just looked at her and said, I'm sorry about the view. <laughs> and she was like, hey, when you got to go, you got to go. So I was like, oh, gosh, I was so embarrassed. But um, to answer your other questions, he's almost five. And we got him right before we got married. So he was like the best wedding present ever. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. All right, so I'll, I'll go into real quick, just letting everybody know a little bit about me um, and what I have to offer you. So like Shanda said, my name's Kim Mulvaney. Um, my website is simplyfilledonline.com. And if you wanna subscribe, you go to simplyfilledonline.com forward slash freebies. And that's where you can get this freebie I'm gonna tell you about. Um, I live in East Central Illinois and I have worked in healthcare for almost 10 years. Um, I used to work in mental health and now I work in physical therapy. And with my writing, um, I focus a lot on um, having gratitude for the simple things in life and trying to simplify our lives so we can make room for what's most important. I have seen so much how mental health, physical health, spiritual health, how it's all interconnected and how much one affects the other um, throughout my work at my day job. So that's what I like to talk about in my writing and insert God in there because I really believe when we make him a priority in our lives that everything else goes more smoothly and kind of falls into place. So the freebie that I have for you is a, sim a seven day simple living scripture reading. It's kind of a long title, but um, basically you'll get sent seven different scriptures and then there's three reflective questions to help you figure out, have that scripture help you figure out where in your life you are overcomplicating things, how you can simplify that part of your life, um, and then how that can benefit you in your life. So that's a freebie for you. Um, so I'm going to introduce you to my friend Rita next. And Rita, I want you to share um, like a funny or a silly talent or skill that you have that is like maybe a little quirky. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can do this. I can wiggle my ears. Ooh, will you show us? I don't know if you can see it on Zoom. Oh, oh I can kind of, yeah. You're like, doesn't that alfalfa do that in the little rascals? Probably. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That's all I got. And I can like make <laughs> some animal noises that are pretty legit, like pigs, but I'm not going to do it on here. Oh, come on. <laughs> I don't, <laughs> do you really want me to do that? No. What about the cute that. little cow? Imitate the cute little cow you guys are feeding right now. Oh my gosh. He, she's so cute. The girl named her Violet. I can't make a good mooing noise. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> but she's adorable. They just got in from feeding her. We're bottle feeding her, and she's the cutest. So that's pretty she's fun. Cute. Like my little baby. Like I got <laughs> literally like a baby. <laughs> but so anyway, cute. so um, now that you saw me wiggle my ears, which is weird. Um, <laughs> um, so anyway, my name's Rita. Uh, my blog is Rita Rogers Co. And So I'm an ICU nurse. <laughs> I've been an ICU nurse for 14 years. And, and I guess I just, I've been blogging now for about three years. And my whole purpose was that I've had health issues of my own. I was trying to help other people with theirs and to empower people to take back control of their health. And I wanted to put myself out there in a way that people knew that they could come to me for help. I'm very thankful for modern medicine and the fact that we live in a place that we have good health care. But having that good health care has made us very reliant on care in a way that we go and we get something to fix our problems. And that's made us stop doing the things that God intended for us, like actually just eating good food, exercising, moving our bodies, taking care of ourselves. And so I really want to empower people to take care of themselves in the way God intended and to make people realize that we do have some control over our health. It's not just that everything's going to happen to us and we have zero control. We do have some control over it. So what I'm offering, the freebies I'm offering are a 28 day um, in-home workout that's completely free. It's what I do all the time. I always work out at home. And now that we can't go out into a gym with coronavirus, um, this is very this is something I do anyway that I can offer to people. And then a grocery list um, to help you kind of stock your shelves without hoarding in a healthy way and keep that produce fresh. Um, and it's kind of been a challenge for me to do that um, 
that I accepted and had fun with. And I think the first time we went shopping, we went about 17 days without shopping and we didn't really hoard or anything crazy. And I think I'm going to try to do this from now on, not go to the grocery stores often because it's no fun to go to the grocery store. So Cecily, uh, let's hear from you. Uh, I know that you do not like to dance. I, when I first met you, I just assumed that you were like this really graceful person. Cause you just look like you'd be really graceful and you're beautiful. And I was just like, Oh, she's probably really graceful. And when I heard that you don't like to dance, it shocked me. And so I'm not going to make you dance, but like, if you have to dance, what is your go-to dance move? Okay. So I'm going to be honest with you. I have no <laughs> So here's the interesting thing. I am kind of graceful. Like when I run, when I'm doing things like kind of graceful. Um, but when I have to go to like a wedding or something where there's a dance, like I'm sweating right now, just thinking about it. <laughs> it makes me so uptight. I don't know. I love to watch people dance. But it's like my my knees don't move and my ankles don't move. Like, I don't know. I can't even walk across a dance floor without like getting nervous. I'm not scared of very many things, but I'm scared of having to dance in public. And I'm scared of chickens um, and all other birds. So I don't know. I have weird phobias, but they're they're severe. <laughs> I don't think that you're weird. I don't think the phobia of chickens is weird. No, I agree. Same here. <laughs> They're creepy birds, and you shouldn't turn your back on them. <laughs> <laughs> and I would have taken you for a ballerina. You look like you could totally pass for a ballerina. I, I don't think so. Like I'm five foot ten, and I feel like that's too wow. too tall for a ballerina. I don't really? know how tall ballerinas are. I don't know. I don't, I don't know, know anything about ballerinas. I'm I certainly not. I have to be short, but no. You have the blonde in your face. Looks porcelain doll. You just look like you would be a ballerina. Well, I'm going to take that as a compliment, but it's, it's, it's totally a compliment. compliment. It's totally a compliment, Cecily. Like very well, pretty, like you said. Thank you. But I'm I'm far, 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 far from ballerina status. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. So that's a bit about my phobias. Um, but like she said, my name is Cecily. I am the lone Canadian in this group. I'm from British Columbia. And I live on a farm somewhat, a bit of a funny farm with like random things like buffalo and pigs and chick chickens. I'm the chicken lady that's scared of chickens, ducks, everything random. Um, I homeschool my three kids and have lots of fun with that. Um, but my mission at my blog, which is thegracetogrow.com, is to help women grow in faith and fruitfulness in their lives by living with purpose and intention. So what I talk about on the blog is staying anchored to the vine in all parts of our lives. And so the vine is Jesus. And um, the four main areas of our lives that I talk about is the spiritual, the physical, the relational, and the nest, which is our homes. Um, and how all of those we should be growing and flowing from the vine. Um, so like I said, my focus is always on growing. That's the title of the grace to grow and always giving ourselves and other people the grace to grow because we're always changing and growing. Um, so I'm really excited to share with you guys um, a priorities worksheet that I um, created because as I've been writing over the past year, what I've really found my heart drawn to is the fact that if we want a faithful, fruitful, intentional life, we really do need to have our priorities in order. I think priorities is something that's gotten a little um, misdefined, I guess, in our current culture. And so priorities are really something that if we state they're important to us, we should be spending our time on them. So the purpose of the resource I created is to help you understand, identify, and live out your priorities so that you can become as faithful, fruitful, and intentional as possible. So yeah, that's that. That's awesome. Okay, so there you have it. There's a little bit about each and every one of us, and I hope that you'll be um, clicking the links and looking for all the freebies that we said we, we have available for you. And until then, we will um, hopefully be connected on, on a deeper level through our emails and, and other ways.